Hello Capricorn, welcome to your 2017 May reading and to understand or better understand the stance where this reading comes from or generates energies from or within or without or going in, in either direction I advise you to press pause and read the description below first before continuing and do check out the rest of the channel and the other things I offer and to continue within the reading I will draw a diamond and first I will generate packets yes and within the middle of the diamond we have the issue concerning whatever is your boggle to is the inside influence which you are unaware of three is the outside influence which you are aware of four is the needed for is what is needed for a solution and five is the solution or what we revealed to yourself if pursue if you pursue in this endeavor and after I read these diamonds or this diamond rather I will draw an Osho Zen Tarot card and read from the booklet and this card is whatever is for you to be the point of focus to keep you in Zen to be resolving and revealing and resolving paradoxes so I will draw a card with just shaking them until a card reveals itself and the first card representing itself is the two of pentacles which is the issue for you and the two of pentacles in the Los Carabeo deck this is the Los Carabeo deck the two of pentacles represents it is a, a grounding force of money and it re here in this deck it represents indecision, restlessness, embarrassment, obstacles to be overcome in order to make your dream come true. You may be called upon to choose between two potential sources of earning. So this is about duality in life uh, in a way things need to be chosen from if you choose one then some options or alternatives drop away and represent by choosing another and within that we have judgment um, with this with this which is inside influence which you are unaware of so renewal if you want to make a drastic change in your life, find the courage to take a risk, dusting off old dreams that you have abandoned. So this is definitely connecting to the ind to the indecision card and choosing between earnings, the multiple earnings. So dusting off old dreams. If you close the window on one aspect, you open a, w a door to another. And what is uh, aware is that transformation is coming for you Capricorn. Transformation is coming. The dead card in um, the influence which you are aware of. And to give a fast reading of the dead card which is a major arcana. Uh, we have change. Be willing to change your mentality and your habits in order to make your dream come true. If one le road leads to nowhere take another one and what is needed for you to come to a solution is the six of swords and it came in the reverse but i will read it out straight the six of swords is prudence new events publication and fame if you want to make your dream come true don't take any chances but think things over calmly so it is advising you to be prudent, to become to a solution or to come to a solution and whatever will become the solution in your endeavor is uh, the bachelor in the reverse, the bachelor is the knight of wands and I will read it out again because the bachelor is coming up in many signs uh, I am reading here 
I guess many people will uh, take out new endeavors within um, partnering. So we have wands, yes. The Bachelor, in order to make your dream come true, you will have to make a quick decision concer concerning a change. Potential help from a person outside the family. So now we have everything read out and we will go to the Osho Zen Tarot cards and I will start shuffling until the card represents itself. And I have one, I have two cards here and it's the well, uh, and uh, I had two cards. I'm gonna keep shuffling because uh, the deck was not cleared to my senses. So I'm gonna keep shuffling. It, the full card did did, repre did uh, present a new beginning, but uh, I was not happy with that energy that came out. So I'm gonna keep going and make it quick. There we go. This is the card intensity. Intensity. That is definitely more to the order of the natural flow, I feel like it. So it is a court card from within the fire uh, cards. Uh, the suit of fire. And it uh, should be standing here. Intensity, uh, so let's have a look at the card. So it is definitely a face penetrating uh, spectrum of uh, colors, and it should be a mastery of action intensity 52. So let's read that out. Excuse me. The figure in this card has taken on the shape of an arrow, moving with the single pointed focus of one who knows precisely where he is going. He is moving so fast that he has become almost pure energy, but his intensity should not be mistaken for the man manic energy that makes people drive their cars at top speed to get from point to A to point B. That kind of intensity belongs to the horizontal world of space and time. The intensity represented by the night of fire belongs to the vertical world of the present moment. A recognition that now is the only moment there is, and here is the only space. When you act within the intensity of the night of fire, it is likely to create the ripples and waters around you. Some will feel uplifted and refreshed by your presence, others may feel threatened or annoyed, but the opinions of others matter little, nothing can hold you back right now. Intensity. Zen says, think of all the great words and great teachings of all your deadly enemies. As your deadly enemy, avoid them, because you have to find your own source. You have not to be a follower, an imitator, you have to be an original individual, you have to find your innermost core on your own. With no guide, no guiding scriptures, it is a dark night, but with the intense fire of inquiry, you are bound to come to the sunrise. Everybody who has burned with intense inquiry or inquiry has found the sunrise. Others only believe. Those who believe are not religious, they are simply avoiding the great adventure of religion by believing. <laughs> I love this book. Okay, Capricorn, thank you for watching to this, this reading. I hope you liked it and will join me for the next time. Take care and do check out more. Goodbye.